guys, Mr. G here with some cross out. Today we got to level 9. So we get a new cab. We're going to play around with the Docker. It's a small truck cab. You can make a little bit of a heavier duty rig with this thing. And man, is it ugly. Let's see what we can do with this thing. So let's put some small ST. I'm going to assume means steering wheels. Those on the front. Wheels that can steer, always nice to have on your rig. Let's some of those on there. Let's get some of our hardware that we want on this. I always like to put hardware uh, on the inside. Make it a little harder for the enemy to blow it up. And since I'm a really bad driver, we need a car jack. And look how tall this thing is. While well, we can just cram a couple fuel barrels right up in there. Okay, and let's just throw on in the rear some more wheels. And do medium. I love medium wheels. They just look cool, but uh, I know they slow us down. But they are going to increase our maximum tonnage because we're going to just load this thing up with armor. And we'll see how that goes. So let's see what kind of parts we got under armor or structure. So we're going to throw some minivan sideboards on this ugly thing. I've only got enough to do two and two per side. Now I wish this thing had an option to build symmetrically, like if I put one thing on one side it would grab the same part and do it on the other. Um, something you can do in Galactic Junk League when you're building, and it saves you time, saves you like doing everything twice, but hey that's okay. Alright, we need to put a roof on this thing of some kind. All I have is the canvas roof, which is not gonna lie, it is kinda one of the lamest lamest roofs we've got. I mean, it is canvas. I like to think, oh, we got a tent keeping keeping our vehicle safe, but hey, it's what we've got. So we're going to go ahead and use it. And let's see, we're going to stick the rear van part on there. Oh my gosh, that's ugly. Let's put a little more frame in here. Uh, where am I going to find that? Yeah, let's stick another 2x4 frame here. Yep. Drop that there and get rid of that. Slap that on there. Back to structure. Grab our rear door. Okay, now we still have a whole extra pile of room in there. What can we even bother putting inside this thing? I'm not sure yet. Slapping on ugly bumpers. You're going to notice one of the problems that I have is I have to have everything look like a proper vehicle, which is you know, not always the best plan. Um, we can fit a weapon radiator in here. Should we do that? Can I put two? Now this, uh, I was wrong in my last video, it doesn't let us uh, shoot quicker, it just lets us shoot for a longer period of time um, before we have to, uh, da, da, da. Oh, let's put the radar in there, before we have to stop shooting, but then you actually have a longer cooldown, but look, we got all this room, let's just put, put our radar in there, why not? Let's go slap some armor over the side of this thing, there we go, man, this is turning out to be a very ugly rig. They should just call this game Ugly Car Designer. And, alright, let's put a van side in. I don't know, this doesn't really look like a van side to me. It looks more like a cafeteria tray, but it is what it is. Make sure we get enough weld points on there. Okay, oh, it's gonna bug me, so let's do we get another one of these. Can we cover up? Alright. Choop, choop. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it looks vaguely like a vehicle. Now it needs some weapons. So we're still going with the LM-54s because if you're a noob like me and you can't aim, you don't really want to go with the cannon just yet. Now is this thing going to unlock some more power for us? Can we get four of these on this thing? Well, let's find out. We got three. Am I, am I high enough level that I can do four? Whoop, I'm always hitting the wrong key between Q and oh look at that we have moved up in the world we can put a little bit more of the weaponry on this thing let's move these up oh I want to weld it on a little better than that and let's get them symmetrical all right are we symmetrical we're not god move it over there we are four weld points don't want my gun falling off okay we've got all this extra tonnage from this cab so let's just slap on all of the extra armor that we can. Does it go bing, bang, boom? Nope, nope. Still nope, still nope. Still terrible at this. 
Oh, come on. Cute, no. Oh god, no, I just want the other way. No, seriously, I'm just gonna hit Q and E until it does what I want it to do, which is that. Alright. Let's put some sideboards on this thing. Now, how did I even fit that on there? Oh, it's sitting right there. Let's move it up. Protect our door here a little bit. Let's just start making this thing look super ugly. Alright. E. Q. Q. No, it's not that angle I wanted it to rotate at. Are we just going to spam Q and E until it does what we want it to do? Okay, what else? We have these little van windows. Yeah, let's get perfect. Some room for them right here. A little more armor, right? This thing can handle some weight. Let's do it. Just make it look the ugliest. Last thing we need to put on this ugly beast is, of course, our giant hatchets of death. We gotta have those on any Mad Maxian rig. And it's saying we're hitting the part limits. I'm slightly over the part limit. What can we pull off this thing to stick one more part on here? Alright, let's get rid of these extra van sides. Sorry guys, you've gotta go. We have hit the part limit. Okay, let's, uh, oh, I can never flip it. I still can't. Come on, go on here. There we go. Sometimes you have to attach the part to get it to go where you like it to go. All right, let's take this thing and save it. We're going to call it, what, Noob Van uh, Mark 1. Oh, we'll save it over this Noob Van. Oh, that one's got a cannon. Uh, that one's, yeah, we'll save it over this. So we're going to call it Noob Van Mark 1. Call that good. All right, and let's take this thing for a battle. Okay, let's take Noob Van Mark One for a spin. Oh, she's ugly. Should, put some, should we put some brown paint on it? Make little G. Little G likes it. He says it looks good. He says leave it. Yeah. Bonus to this game: five-year-old boys will love this game because what? You're making giant trucks with weapons all over the side. Who wouldn't love that? I know when I was five, I would have enjoyed that. All right. This thing is slow, Younger G. Well, let's just not drive in and get completely wrecked here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Not how we play the game, folks. Wait for your team. Remember, rule number one, dying doesn't help the team. Well, this thing takes a little bit more of a beating than our previous trucks. It's, oh my goodness, the watermelon-colored trucks are coming in. We are waiting for the team. Oh, we're on fire, little G. That's not good. Driving through water is not helping either. All right, let's go in and just get ourselves blown up. Not right? Because it doesn't help the team. All right, let's get this guy. He's off on his own. Let's go back up there and just blow this guy up. Wings of Doom. Ooh, he's toast. We got an assist. Let's loop back around. Woohoo! Here we go. And we've rammed our own teammate. Oh, that guy's a baddie. He's got a big old cannon. And we are ramming our own teammate here. Oh, we took off his cannon. Let's finish him off. Are we going to get a victory for once? Oh, my word. We're getting so good at this game, little G. All right. Oh, my goodness. This guy's been like firing. Oh, and we are toast. All right. Well, we lived a little longer in this car than we did on our last one. Please give me your build tips. How could I make this thing run better? Let me know in the comments. I will catch you guys on the next one. Mr. G, out.